years ago, it was considered uh, pr practically just outlandish to dilate a blood vessel with a, with a catheter. I mean, no one believed that it, it could be done, and then it developed into an idea that you could possibly treat blood vessel disease while you're there accessing the blood vessel, and, um, and it's evolved from there. So. Dr. Jason Bauer, an interventional radiologist with Legacy Health Systems, says that was the beginning. And over the past two decades, technological advances that combine imaging guidance from things like CAT scans and MRIs and therapeutic procedures have come a long way. It's not just imaging to make a diagnosis, it's imaging a diagnosis is made and a minimally invasive procedure could be performed possibly to treat that with the imaging guidance. So the imaging that, that is common to our specialty initially was just x-ray. It was cut film early on, that's what you had. You would take a snapshot in time and you'd have that picture and you'd hold it up and now we have real-time imaging, it's dynamic, it's like a, watching a movie, almost like a video game in some ways. And as technology is developed in CAT scan, uh, and MRI interventional radiologists uh, can apply those technologies to their patients um, because now we can see things that we couldn't see before. Basically, we, we do head-to-toe interventions either through blood vessels or outside the patient driven by imaging. The technology has a number of uses, including treating varicose veins, breaking up blood clots, delivering direct radiation treatments for cancer, and relieving spinal pressure and pain caused by osteoporosis. Dr. Andrew Cox says they also do a lot of angioplasty, using a balloon on a catheter to clear a blocked blood vessel. It's the same angioplasty that you've heard about, and um, you know, angioplasty we've been doing for, I guess, 20 or 30 years, perhaps. What's nice about what we have now is image quality is improved, the technology is improved, so it's safer, the catheters we use are smaller, so just improvements in every aspect of it, but certainly the trend is to do less and less invasive procedures and try to achieve a similar result. And so the less invasive you can be, you know, ideally the better. Less recovery, less risk to the patient. Just being able to fix an artery, you know, that you're two feet away from by working through an artery at the top of the leg. Debbie Smothers' 20-year-old granddaughter is undergoing angioplasty to open an artery to her kidney. I am absolutely amazed, you know, at what they can do and when the doctor came in and was showing the pictures from the surgery and what they'd actually seen with the, you know, with the cameras and the beading of the fibers that are growing in the, um, in the arteries. It was amazing to me that they could see that kind of detail. It's less invasive and um, yes, it's a lot less frightening for everyone. A few hours of laying flat, making sure the bleeding's under control and eats and then she gets to go home and that's great.